Welcome! This is another in my series of climate mythbusters and the myth I'm going to bust today is that they were predicting an ice age in the 1970s. As always we'll start with the myth conception itself. If you google global cooling in the 1970s you get over 4 million hits. Most of the arguments used there are like these. They were predicting the onset of an ice age in the 1970s, now it's too much global warming. In 1975 they pushed the coming ice age. They said that there were many signs that the earth may be headed for another ice age. How can we trust the predictions if they were predicting a coming ice age in the 1970s and now they're predicting global warming? I have just one question. Who were they? Implied by this, they referred to scientists and that there was some consensus in the 1970s that we were headed for a new ice age. Nothing could be further from the truth. And oh by the way, we aren't predicting global warming. We have actually been observing global warming for the last 50 years and we're predicting that it will continue. If you look into this in detail, you'll find that all this fuss is the result of the work of just 14 people. There were seven scientific papers published on the subject of global cooling in the 15 year period from 1965 onwards. This was the result of the work of just 12 scientists. Then some journalists picked up on these scientific publications and wrote a couple of popular articles. One was in 1974 in Time magazine and another one was in 1975 in Newsweek magazine. Now, I've done a video about those articles to show how sketchy they were. They were full of ifs, ands, buts and maybes. And if you want more detail on that, I've got a link to that video in the information below this one. But let's return to the seven scientific papers on global cooling and to see how strong the consensus was amongst them that the Earth was headed for another ice age. On the left here, I have a pie chart that shows the relative number of papers that were predicting global cooling compared with those that were predicting global warming. And you can see that the ratio of the blue to the red is about six to one. So for every global cooling paper, there was about six global warming papers. So that would say that even back then, the consensus was more towards global warming than it was towards global cooling. Now I've listed the seven global cooling papers on the right here. And I went through them looking for the word Ice Age. And I could only find Ice Age in one of them, the Rasool and Schneider paper in 1971. Most of them were about the role of aerosols in cooling the planet, some making the argument that if you added a lot more aerosols to the atmosphere, like a factor of four more than we already had, you could have a serious cooling event. But several of the, even of these, qualified it that if you added more greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, that could overwhelm this cooling effect. So it's time to draw some conclusions. First of all, the vast majority of scientific papers in the 1970s were about global warming, not global cooling. So there was no consensus in the scientific community about global cooling. Of the seven papers that were cited as being about global cooling, only one mentioned an ice age. Most of the rest of the papers were about the cooling effect of aerosols on reducing the amount of solar radiation reaching the surface of the Earth and thus causing cooling. So all of this is really just making a mountain out of a molehill, as is usual with the global warming denial community. So if you see somebody using this argument, please post a link to this video and tell them they're full of nonsense. Until next time, goodbye.